Welcome back to another beer review with me, Ruku. Today's beer review we have Jeremy Clarkson's Hawkstone Lager on Perfect Draft. It's in there, it's chilled, and it's ready to go now. A few months back, I had the bottled version, very, very nice indeed. Couldn't fault it as much as I wanted to. I couldn't. Um, this is on the draft version, 4.8, so still no change compared. But look at this beautiful beer. It's cold. Look at that. Beautiful, even head on it. You can see how gold that is. It's just a thing of beauty. So, this automatically pours, I find, a better head anyway than the bottled version. Um, and we've all seen the band advert for this where he uh, tells George Clooney to fuck off. Um, but yeah, let's see if this is any better than the bottle. Remove that out of your way to get more room. Right, let's have a little go on the aroma. Doesn't smell much different compared to the bottle, just more of the grains, the pale malts. Um, yeah, grains, pale malts, right. Cheers, everyone. That is just as good. That is really a nice, refreshing pint. Nice and refreshing. Good amount of hop. You can get the power malts. A little bit crisp in places. I'll tell you what. That is a cracking pint. The only difference, I think, really on this is there's more compared to the bottle version on the draft there's just a bit more of the flames are a little bit more stronger now this is a pilsner in style and everything used in this beer is completely 100% natural so what Jeremy Clarkson has done is he's created a beer from his own farm so as I said before in the previous version the bottle version of this uh, review he basically uses his own wheat you know, barley, hops, yeast, and all the rest of it that's all grown on the farm. Um, so what you got there is basically a piece of history, and uh, you're drinking from a celebrity's farm, which I think is quite cool. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Jeremy Clarkson. Some people love him, some people hate him. I absolutely love him. I think he's hilarious. I think he's got his head screwed on. And he, he just comes out with this. What a fantastic beer this is, and it goes down too easy, it really does. It's got a nice body to it, the flavours are there. It's refreshing, it's crisp, good amount of flavour. And I just think Jeremy Clarkson's gone from a TV presenter to Top Gear to now a farmer who's now basically making homebrew because that's essentially what this is this is homebrew isn't it let's, let's be honest ingredients from the farm brewed by maybe not himself i don't i couldn't see jezza doing the the brewing process but i believe he's got a team that does it for him um, but they are his ingredients from his farm so credit where credit's due so yeah i think it's a, a cracking beer um, the price, uh, I think, was it, I can't remember if it's 37 or 47 now I paid for this, for a whole keg, 37, 47 pound, I think it was 37. <coughs> I've got burps, I have a good beer. So 37 pounds for 6 litres of beer, which is 10.5 pints, of basically what is a summer drink, because it's a nice light pilsner, packs full of flavour, just goes down too easy. But with the machine, as I said, the hops come through a hell of a lot more. You can really taste the hops. Um, I'm going to say probably fuggles or gold in there because it's got that sort of leafy, hoppy, citrusy bite. And combined with the, the, the body of the beer, it's, it's just nice. You get the sort of refreshment you need, but with hoppy flavour and bite at the end. So yeah, fantastic beer, as I said. And... 
for thirty-seven pound, maybe a little bit steep. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out. I think a little bit steep for this. I love Jeremy, but I think again you're paying just like the bottles. You're paying for the name. And if I was gonna pay thirty-seven for ten and a half pints at four point eight percent, I think I'd want a little bit stronger. Um, I'm not saying the alcohol content's a problem because it's nice and light. It's easy, but. If I'm paying £37, I would want something at least between 5 to 6%. Uh, if the price went up a little bit more, then I would expect sort of 7% upwards. But never mind, this is a good drink, and I think this would appear to all beer drinkers. Whether you like Clarkson or not, it's just an easy going, light, crisp, flavoursome beer. Fuck off, George Clooney.